Hi, my name is Kavos Abushov. Um, I'm from Azerbaijan and I did my bachelor's studies here in Azerbaijan at Baku State University in international relations and after that I went to Germany for postgraduate studies in international relations as well with a focus on economics. Um, and after that I did my PhD in political science in Germany at the University of Münster um, through a sandwich program, a special program that allowed me to study in different European countries including the Netherlands and uh, the United Kingdom. Um, so I finished my PhD in 2010 and uh, moved to Azerbaijan, to back to Azerbaijan actually after living in Germany for seven years um, to work here at the Azerbaijan Diplomatic Academy. I'm currently an assistant professor of political science here at the Diplomatic Academy. And last year I finished my postdoc at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology in the US. I had the opportunity to stay in Germany or to work somewhere else in, uh, in, the, in the Western Hemisphere, let's say. Um, it was primarily the Azerbaijan Diplomatic Academy. Um, it was a new institution, new educational institution with huge promises and challenges. The job was very creative. I, was, I, I have been the first professor here, so I joined them in 2008 uh, by coming here, visiting and going back to Germany and then so gradually integrating or reintegrating. So I think I, I, I've been quite satisfied and happy to be here, to be a part of this institution because as I mentioned this is absolutely new to the, not only to Azerbaijan but to the whole post-Soviet space. So overall I can say the quality of education at this institution and overall the approach and the, the, the objectives of the institution were the primary factors why I came back to Azerbaijan because it, it would be a very creative job to serve such a purpose in your country. My name is Elnar Ivazov and I was born in Azerbaijan and uh, I spent my entire childhood in Azerbaijan. After completing my school in Azerbaijan, um, <clears throat> I was admitted by the Law Faculty of Baku State University. While studying at the Law Faculty of Baku State University, um, I, I was awarded with a scholarship by the US State Department and this scholarship allowed me to spend almost one year at the University of West Virginia where I was specializing in political science. And I was the first blind student who has ever attended a law school, as well as I was the first blind student from Azerbaijan who has ever studied in the United States. Uh, these factors made me the, uh, my, much stronger person. After finishing my studies at the Law Faculty of Baku State University, I applied for a very prestigious and very competitive program at the Law Faculty of Cambridge University. <laughs> I was lucky enough to be admitted by the Law Faculty at Cambridge University. But besides that, besides getting admission from Cambridge University, I was very, very surprised when I, I was awarded with a very prestigious scholarship from Cambridge University. I was a recipient of Cambridge Overseas Trust uh, Scholarship. I applied uh, to continue my education at another prestigious university in the United States. Uh, and I was admitted by the Law Faculty of Oxford University and, um, and I was awarded a couple of scholarships from, by Oxford University. And this was like very, very amazing and surprising. And just, 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 just to find out that Oxford values you and they, the Oxford, Oxford wants you to, to be a part of the Oxford community. At the same time, uh, to be a part of the legal community because it's extremely difficult to get admission to the law faculty of Oxford University. After I applied for a scholarship, it was a Fulbright Fellowship Program. I'm currently teaching at the Azerbaijan Diplomatic Academy I'm a law lecturer, law professor, and I teach business law and different fields of law. I think disability and even my poor vision and my blindness, it's not a problem for achieving the good results in my life. Uh, on the other hand, my disability uh, and, and my blindness and my low, low vision even inspired me to work harder to achieve excellent results. You might have many problems in your life. They might be health-related problems, they might be uh, financial problems, they might be 
uh, other social problems, but th this problem shouldn't prevent you from achieving good things and results in, in your life. You can take me as an example, guys, and uh, you, know, uh, you know, all of us do have different sort of problems in, in this life, but personally, uh, I had to face with a lot of challenges from a younger age, but these challenges did, didn't prevent me from achieving excellent and outstanding results in my life. Uh, on the other hand, they only forced me to, to get excellent results in my life.